Hi, I'm Natasha Antonioni with Austin Life, where we cover all things real estate, design, and all things Austin. Today, we are talking about shelf design. This beautiful shelf custom that my husband built has been bugging me, and it's something that we look at every single day. It's a focal point in the room. We just kind of put it together and I knew that I was gonna take the time to find the right elements. So I just got back from Round Top. It's a furniture show that we have two big ones a year and I got some amazing vintage pots that I can't wait to put up here and kind of clean it up. I'm a believer in intentional design. That's my approach and philosophy to design. So I like to weave your goals and your dreams into your home through design, but not obviously. We stare at it every single day, and it, I swear things start to show up in your life faster than you can believe. My husband is a bookaholic, and he loves a lot of books. I feel like it just looks too crazy. So I would like to get rid of some of these books, and I'm gonna bring the black down just to balance it out a little bit. One of our life goals has been to have a beach house and that is what that coral represents right there. So I'm gonna leave those blue books because they represent the ocean. I love handmade old objects because they have imperfections to them. The reason that I was so excited about these vintage handcrafted pots is that another piece of intentional design is handcrafted objects are what bring a home to life and bring the humanity in. So when you have these handcrafted objects, they're never perfect. There's always flaws. And this feels more natural, like nature is not perfect. The trees are all different. I just think it brings soul into the home. If we would have gotten these from a big box store, they would have been identical and it just would have felt a little too matchy matchy. So I like the imperfection of that. I believe in intentional design as my design philosophy. When we built this home, we decided and committed to making this home fully intentional design as much as we possibly could. So it may seem silly. This black sculpture, when I saw it, I just fell in love with it. I'm an ex New York City girl and I loved to go dancing. Remember back in the day, the kids that would spin all those lights? Well, I was one of those. So that sculpture reminds me of that time and it reminds me to keep dancing in my life, which brings me a lot of joy. And the top shelf is specific to our life path, which is to own a portfolio of homes. We have three, so the little houses represent the portfolio of homes that we will have. We moved into this house about two years ago and we knew that one day we would have a beach house. We thought it would be way in the future. It happened way faster than I ever imagined it would. We just closed and are homeowners of a Toto Santos water view property in Mexico. It's kind of nuts because these little elements are in there reminding you every day, but you forget. It becomes part of your unconscious and then all of a sudden that thing that you wanted manifests quicker than you could even have imagined. It's pretty amazing. So is it intentional design? What do you think? This was driving me a little bit crazy, but I'm feeling a whole lot better now. I needed this to be clean because my workday is pretty crazy. So I need that sense of calm when I come into the house. Well, I hope you liked this video. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. We'll see you soon. Bye.